Hey guys, what's up Tax here? Today we are back with another episode of MotoGP over on the second channel. So once again, thanks guys for coming over to the second channel to watch this series. I'm hoping it's going to be once every two days. And I'm going to try and do is add something a little bit to this series. To say sort of thanks for tuning into the series really. is basically, I'm going to try and include now from, from now onwards the the second qualifying. If we get to the second qualifying, I want to show you guys my fastest lap in quali. So... That's my aim. So here we go. Basically what I do is I skip a lot of the sessions. So we basically get out there with a few minutes to go and hopefully don't get involved in an AI crash coming out the pit lane, which has happened on a couple of occasions, which really does suck when it does happen. But here we are in Phillip Island here, a track I do love. I really do like this track. And if we can get a nice result here today, that would really sort of finish off a season which has been pretty mediocre I'm not gonna lie it's not been as good as I'd hoped and I'm still hoping we have a good enough um, contract option at the end of the season whether it's to renew with Honda or my goal is to really go to Yamaha as I know that's what a lot of you guys want to see you want to, to really challenge for the title here so here around Phillip Island I'm hoping to get a good result to sort of confirm that point that I'm worthy of a Yamaha seat for next season obviously Generally in the game it's seen as the best bike obviously the Honda in real life You know with Marquez on it seems to be the best bike, but in the game Yamaha is the way to go so Let's get it turned in here in, in not Laguna Seca. Where am I talking about? Phillip Island. It's, it's a lovely track to go around once you get the flow in it a flow of it Sorry, it really is a lot of fun. So I think we're still gonna struggle to be front row of the grid here, but if we can get a really killer last sector here, I do think we've got a chance of front two rows. Depends if we can get a nice run off this last corner. We did have to do two laps in qualifying, one actually to get through. My first lap wasn't too good, but I did manage to squeeze through in the lead of that session. So we go across the line there, and where's it going to be? Eighth place there on the grid for the Austrian, Austrian Grand Prix, Australian Grand Prix. So at this point, after my lap, I, maybe, you know, sometimes we're feeling like I could do a lot better, but I'd probably go ahead and do a second lap, but I'm not feeling like I can do a mega lap there. So eighth place, only a couple of temps down in reality, six temps down, nearly seven temps down. I wouldn't say that's too bad. I wouldn't say that's too bad. So honestly, I'm not going to go and do another lap here today, but sometimes I might end up doing another lap. So it's just the way it is, guys. You can just see in qualifying, obviously, I don't really, I don't really spend too much time in qualifying. Hopefully you guys understand that, obviously. Um, I do want to try and upload as much of the races as possible. I know that's what you guys want to see. But, you know, a little bit of qualifying. Let me know if you liked that. Whether you enjoyed the first sort of part of the video, like that. Or whether you'd prefer to see just the race in the videos. And for anyone wondering, I'm going to basically be doing the qualifying and one race in each episode now. So it's not going to be two episodes. Uh, sorry, two races an episode. It's going to be one race an episode. But the qualifying is, is in there as well. So... Yeah, it's changed up a little bit, but it's hoping for me at least that I can get more regular content out to you guys. Obviously, if I pressure myself to get two races per episode in, it sometimes sort of messes up the schedule and it's, it's kind of hard to get it out there. So, hopefully you guys understand. I really appreciate, obviously, the support. And my main channel, lots of really important content coming up over the next couple of days. So, hopefully, that'll be great. No flashbacks have been turned on. I know a lot of people have, like... If you turn back flashbacks on, you're you're a noob. You're rubbish at the game. So, I guess I've got I've been pressured myself from the comment section to, to not put flashbacks back on here. But qualifying was okay. I'm not going to say it was great, but definitely something to improve on in the race here. Starting from eighth place, let's hopefully get a good run down to the first corner here. Bikes uh, wasn't a great start. The bike was hopping all over the place as we head down to turn one. Right, let's see what we can do through here. Obviously, the racing line, nowhere near it, to be fair. But the AI are oh, nowhere near it either through this corner. Whoa, loads of the AI are off the track. But yeah, they still have to go on. I swear, if I went off the track there, I'd be off the bike, crashed. Yeah, the AI can all stay up. Like I swear they like got magnetic strips attached to the circuit so they don't fall off. Um, <laughs> it's conspiracy theories. Oh, diving down the inside there, managing to just hold on to the bike there. That's pretty lucky. Right, left hander, crutch line of Vizioso directly in front of us here. Can we get them on the exit? We've got a nice run through there, to be fair. The left, right, left, right. Can we get down the inside of the AI? No, they're covering off the inside line. Ianone is battling out for the lead of this race. I think it's alongside Marquez. Bouncing up a couple of AI there, and this is the really tough corner. You're all sort of off camber. 
and the AI, I think, if I remember correctly, back to previous years, go a bit crazy through here. Yes, they do. We managed to gain a couple of positions. Lose a couple once again. Lorenzo's pushing us out wide. We don't want that because the AI are going to do that. And Leonardo's lost the lead. Mark Marquez through our teammate. Last corner time here. Can we get a, a really thunderous run down the main straight? We've got a nice run, to be fair. Now right up in the slip room of Vinales. We should be faster in the straight line than the Suzuki. We'll switch one way, then the next. Round the outside. Can we get on the brakes? I think Paul, uh, sorry, Alicia Spargo just managed to get enough. But we've got them both round the outside. And now will Marquez and Iannone run wide? I think they will. Yes, they will once again running wide there, the AI. I don't know if they're, they're, the AI very weirdly set up throughout that corner, but I suppose we can capitalise on it if we do well enough, so let's just not complain too much here. But we love that corner. That's where we gained a lot of time on the AI. And now we're sliding down the inside of Marquez and Iannone. We've got it done. We're up into the lead this race now. Let's just focus now. But we realise... There's the off-camber bit just towards the end of the lap where the AI will go crazy. They will go for moves and they will inevitably be an accident if we sort of get involved. So let's try and not get involved here. Let's try and sort of cover off the inside line. But let's be honest, when we go defensive, it actually works negatively and we always just end up getting involved in a crash. So if we just take the normal racing line, hopefully we can... We can get a nice run through there. I'm going to just hop onto the grass there, guys. I'm not intentionally doing that. I'm going to slow up, let them all through. You can see I didn't gain any time throughout that whatsoever. I just I just felt that I was going to lose a lot of time. But the AI all driving on the grass because giving me just handed me back second place here. But the reason I went across the grass there was I was a bit worried that one of the AI was going to fling back into the middle of the track there and lose me a whole, well, basically take me off and lose me any chance of this race. But down the main straight, look at this. Davizioso is bump drafting the Suzuki. Obviously, it couldn't happen in real life, but as it's the game, bounce off each other quite easily, and it's just crazy close to this race here. Pedroza's battling now. Can we get a few Hondas on the front, front couple of positions on the on the finish line? That would be great to see. All right, remember this left-hander coming up here, guys. We gain a whole bunch of time, so let's not worry about the fact that we've lost a load of positions down to sixth here, but let's think about how we can overtake them once again. On the brakes here, we should be able to get him. And we've got everyone once again up to second place here. Can we feather the throttle enough? We're quite close to Marquez here, but we're hopping all over the place under acceleration. But can we get a nice run on the inside of Vinales? We should be able to just edge him out. Oh, but Pedroza's hit the back end of our, of our bike. What is he doing? Surely, mate, you want to get team points here. And that whole incident has actually lost us a lot of time there. I'm not going to be very favourable to Pedroza now if he's going to be pushing us about all over the place. But Marquez looks like he's got a great run through here. Oh, no, 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 no. Are we going to be able to pull it down in time? I think we've just about pulled it down in time, but a couple of people have gone through. Vinales, Davizioso, where are we going to end up this race? People are on the grass. People are everywhere. Pedroza, we can't quite get underneath him there. And I think it's going to be fourth position, is it? We're going to run to the start finish line. The Suzuki looks like it's faster than me here in the straight line, but it looks like we're going to grab fourth place. It's very close between me and the Suzuki of Vinales. We just about... Woo, that was a close race there. We just about grabbed fourth place. I love that one, guys. Even though I didn't win, that's one of the most exciting races I've had in this series so far. Less than seven tenths of a second behind the eventual winner, Marquez, who's now put himself right back in championship contention with Jorge Lorenzo and Rossi. Jorge Lorenzo had such a terrible start to the season, yet he's now winning. The, sorry, he's currently leading. We're 70 points behind. We're ahead of Pedroza, which I suppose is a good point here, obviously being ahead of one of our teammates. But... In general, a pretty disappointing race there. I'd have loved to have taken a bit more out of it. But nonetheless, guys, see you in a couple of days for more MotoGP. Hopefully you liked the whole sort of style there. Until next time, it's been Axel out here. Goodbye. Thanks again for watching this video, guys. I really do appreciate it. As always, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. It helps me out massively. You don't understand how much it really does help me out here on YouTube. Also, if you're new to the channel, subscribing it really will help me outgrow the channel which obviously really really is appreciated and now i've got that out of the way if you want to watch another video as well there's one linked on the screen right now it'll be a different annotation link every day so you maybe what well, different ones you saw yesterday so always give it a quick check if you haven't seen it that'd be really really cool if you could check it out it might be an old video might be a newer one very cool to just see maybe some old content out there as well whether you liked it or not so as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day. It's been Axe Mardi. Goodbye.